morning. Again. When will it change, right? When will it be different? Well, my head never settled down, even for a minute. I slept fragmentedly, and then at 3.30, I took the activated charcoal. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I didn't think I'd fall back to sleep, but I did because then I had some very, again, I don't call them nightmares, but they're agitating dreams. And um, then I wake up with anxiety really, really bad. And I tossed and turned from five o'clock on so you know, I slept another hour, maybe. Tossed and turned and tossed and turned. And now I just feel so, like I've been saying, just foggy and gushy in the brain. And tired and just beat up. got about seven inches of snow last night. It's still coming down light. We're supposed to get up probably another three today. But um, everybody's trying to, and it's heavy, heavy snow. <coughs> <coughs> this is getting to be more of an issue for some reason. So back when the lymph nodes first started, a friend of mine's husband, who's an oncologist, had, she had mentioned that, you know, I had these swollen lymph nodes. This was one that first started, which was, you know, what, two years ago? A year ago? I don't know. Anyway, um, and he told her, tell your friend she needs to have a biopsy on those lymph nodes. That's all there is to it. If they're not going down, and even with antibiotics, they're not going to, you know, she needs to have a man biopsy. And of course, I... My doctor, the PA I was seeing, kind of agreed at that moment. I didn't, but um, then they seemed to, to go down. So I said, oh, they're okay now. So anyways, my point is, last night I started looking at lymphoma again. And of course, I have all the symptoms of lymphoma, except for weight loss. Even the dizzy head, even this dizzy head could be caused from that. But, um, you know me, I'm always looking for a reason, but I'm just the, the fact that I'm getting um, less and less energy and just feeling so um, drawn out and uh, weak is concerning to me. Uh, so that's my morning so far. Fighting the, the feeling of crime because I'm just looking at the day going, I have nothing to look forward to. It's so scary that you have absolutely nothing to look forward to. I certainly not plan on going anywhere, even if I felt like it because of the weather. Just have nothing to look forward to. Hope this changes. I suppose I'll try to get on the treadmill again. For what? I have no idea for something to do. So, um, I'll check in with you later. <clears throat> Hi. I just got off the treadmill. <clears throat> <clears throat> and, um, we're in the brace. We're in the brace. And the treadmill 
although very difficult to do, definitely helps um, with my mind. Thank God, something, I mean, it doesn't, it's not a cure, but it definitely helps, so that's why I push myself to do it. I don't know if this is gonna happen. My husband's out working right now, um, but I open up my um, jewelry box to get out a watch. <clears throat> this is my go-to watch. It's a Citizen and it's um, solar powered. It definitely needs a new band though because purple doesn't go with just about anything. <laughs> so I need a new band. It was a gift from my father um, two years ago. Anyway, uh, I highly recommend solar powered watches because my point was I open up my my uh, jewelry box and I'm I love watches. I love them and I have like six watches that need new batteries. They're just sitting there because the batteries died. So like I said, I don't know if it's going to happen, but depending on how I feel, there's a place down the road from us um, who does watch batteries, basically. <laughs> I mean, I think that's, I don't know what else they do. They probably sell other stuff. Sorry, I'm looking at my hair and it's bothering me. Um, but I need new batteries for all these watches so I can start wearing them again. Not that I go anywhere, but I do like wearing a watch. I don't know why, it's just part of me. It's part of my jewelry collection, right? Anyway. So, if I feel like I can do it and my husband gets home and plows out our... I don't even know how he got out of our driveway. He must have just pushed the car through because there is a ton of snow out in that driveway, so he needs a snow blow. So I don't I don't even know what's gonna happen if I'm gonna get out today and if I even feel like I can. We'll see. So I'm gonna go watch some vlogs and then get lunch in a little in a little while and Really, nothing else to do. Okay, this hair. Okay, check in with you later. Okay, Jen, this is really for you. These are the exercises I showed you once before, but I'll show you again. And I'm doing it even with the brace on, and I probably shouldn't. Actually, I really shouldn't be doing it with the brace on, so hold on. What I noticed about my brace, Jen, is that mine, um, goes further, it goes down further between the shoulder, below the shoulder blades, whereas yours looks like it's up farther. Maybe that's why you're uncomfortable with that, but anyway, back to this. And I'm just going to show you one set, but all you're doing is you're putting your cheek on the side of the bed. And you're letting your arm drop all the way. I don't know if you can see me. And then you're going to hold your hands straight. Do this. I told you. We're doing reps. I'm up to 12 today. Then with the thumb up and you do those reps. Then with the thumb down, you do those reps. And then at a 45 degree angle, just with your hand flat. Do those reps. Then you turn and do the other side. Okay, I'm gonna do them now. But I just want to show you those are the. And then, like I said, she said you start at five and go up by two, go up by two, go. Up, and I'm going up by two every day until you're up to 42, which is weird to me. And then you add a one pound weight. So I'll see you later. Okay, this is my second attempt. I had to just erase. The whole blog because I lost it and I don't want you to witness the terror and the anguish 
and the anger and the rage that I am feeling. So I'm, I erased it. What I was saying is that I'm in bed. Here I am. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Because the dizziness just got so bad. The head just got so bad that I couldn't even stand in the kitchen to talk to my husband. I literally was tipping over. And then trying to get up the staircase was so hard. It just, it came on me. I mean, I'm always dizzy, but it, it came on me like, like all of a sudden really, really bad. And I didn't do anything. I did nothing to provoke it. And so anger, yes, because my husband just left to go meet with my daughter and her husband and my son and some friends to watch the last second half of the SU game and then watch the Eagles game and they're going to have, you know, eat and drink and have a good time. And not that I want to watch football, no, but it would be nice if I could live a life outside of this freaking bed. So yeah, I'm feeling a lot of rage right now. Having a real hard time again to deal with this because it makes no sense for 24-7, 365 days a week, year, I have to fight to walk across the room. Just kill me. Kill me. I pulled out my journal from May, May until now, because I thought maybe is there a possibility that I've actually gotten a little worse since I started the antibiotics? Nope. I was bad back then. Had really bad days. So the antibiotics, can't blame that. Nothing's helping me. Nothing. Nothing is helping me. Earlier, I, you know, maybe I'll go get some batteries put in my watch, watches. You can't stand up. And then I also texted my oldest daughter and said, oh, are you going to be going out shopping at all today? Because maybe I'll join you. I need to get some new sneakers and blah, blah. I'm clearly delusional. I can't stand up. know what to do about this it's it's I'm gonna go see this functional nurse practitioner and I'm gonna scare the crap out of her she'll she'll run me right out of her office because she, her receptionist made it clear she does not see complicated cases she's not she doesn't you know serve that population I'm complicated I'm beyond complicated I'm this close to being in a wheelchair. But that doesn't, being in a wheelchair doesn't stop you from being spinny and dizzy and off balanced and goofy in the head. That just, so you don't have to fall. I want my head to clear. I want five minutes of complete clarity in my head. And I can't get it. I cannot get it no matter what. So I'm venting on here. Vent, vent, and vent because Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, sitting in, on your bed, I can't lay completely down because when I lay down, watch out. I can either recline or sit up or just... I'm sorry. Y'all probably getting sick of hearing this, but this is, so I'm going to give you a rundown of my, how it feels in my head, the best way I can describe it. Let's see. It feels like there's no space for my brain, that there's a balloon that's been just blown up and my brain is being pushed to the side and it's, and in that balloon, it's all filled with kaleidoscoping, cotton ball, sloshy, just 
so bizarre. And I either get the bobbing, which I call this, you know, my head's going like this, or the swaying, or the ooh. And that's, one of those is happening at every minute, something, to some degree, some degree. My head, I'll get pain when I shake my head. I have pain in my fore, in the frontal part of the head. I used to get more pain occipitally, but that doesn't go, happen anymore, really. It's more here. And then when I get the migraines, forget the migraines. There, And then I'll be just doing something, and it will feel like the whole room just shifts, like something pulls out from underneath me, and I have to grab a hold of something, because it literally feels like the, the room has just shifted quickly, like a, an earthquake. So I'm either on a boat constantly, or I'm in an earthquake. My vision is messed up blurry doesn't I'm constantly doing this constantly cleaning my glasses constantly think feeling like my glasses are are smudged and they're not of course the neck but it's all I don't it's not the neck pain it's the swelling of all these nodes now and tender and just it feels inflamed and it's so so tight when i saw the chiropractor she said have you gone you, you haven't gone to see the massage therapist yet because it's a friend of hers and apparently they've been in contact and i said no a the money b the distance to drive and c I really don't feel like having somebody rub my neck right now. It pro it might feel good, but I'm so flippin' dizzy, I don't want people touching me. So, my head is, as I've said a million times before, it's just so woozy. I feel like I'm ready to pass out a lot. I'll take my blood pressure and it'll be fine. But I feel... And my, I've told you my blood sugar's fine, but I feel this, like I'm just having really low blood sugar attack or low blood pressure. And it's not that. It's like, as I said before, like I'm not getting blood to my brain. Now they did, um, sonogram of my carotids. Uh, two, last year, two years ago, I don't know, in the last two years, and they were fine. Because that's how it sounded to them, that I wasn't getting blood to my brain. And then, let's go down to my feet. The numb, tingly, prickly, weird, bizarre feeling in my feet. number two the head problem is number one the worst of all my symptoms and then the feet number two and number three would be the anxiety that all this is making worse I'm sorry, just had to get on here and vent. I'll try to cut this short and I'm not going to make a 46 minute vlog again. So, thanks for listening. Welcome back. Um, nothing's changed. Just going to log off now. Because there's nothing more for you to talk about. <clears throat> I did some knitting done some reading 
I ate some soup and it's not sitting well with my stomach, but such is life. Um, that, that's all I have to say. I don't have anything else to say. Is that I'm in bed still. And we'll be here for the rest of the night. Unless something unforeseen happens. And other than that, here I am. And all I can do is see you, Lord willing, tomorrow.